Morning guys, here we are again, the favourite old saying. So nice bright sunny days you can see, not many clouds in sight, no rain, the temperature's nice, it's a nice day to be out, a nice morning to be out, sorry. We're down, if you don't recognise where we are with the backdrop, we are down at Sully Island. And we're down here with a little special guest, surprise you haven't heard him already. <laughs> So yeah, we're currently on our second cast. We've had a fish first cast, I'll get it out soon. It pretty much went straight away. It's currently two hours to low water. We're down here targeting anything that swims, apart from doggies. Doggies! So, but we've had a fish first cast. Second rods have just gone out now, so we got the, the mixture of fish baits from anchovy, sand eel, squid, bluey, some fresh joeys, and some crab, see if we can get a hound out. So, um, yeah, so it's currently two hours till low water. So fingers crossed, we can pull a few fish out for you. So I hope you enjoy the video, stick with me. I'll see you soon. out a single crab straight off the front of Sully Island nice result a nice six six pound hound happy days on a beautiful day like this beats catching daggies let's get it back
nice little bass, about two, maybe three pounds, something like that, two, two and a half, didn't weigh it. It actually took a um, whole anchovy and squid and a 5.0 full value bass circle on the dongle rig style meant for the raise. Give me a proper slack liner. If I lost it, I'd have been convinced it was a ray. Coming in, I thought it was an eel. But no, we got a bass, Billy the Bass. But this one is gonna go back, hopefully grow a bit bigger and make someone else happy one day. So let's get it back. Yeah, it's doing all right at the moment, guys. Um, just over an hour to low. Uh, we've had eels, bass, hound, ray. So, <laughs> a human. <laughs> We have a cracking small eye of eight and a half pound. And a lovely spot, it'd have run about three pound. Uh, currently entering the bait to go comp. So for day one, top of the board. <laughs> Won't last too long though, so yes. Cracking fish on a dongle rig. Let's get him back. Almost went. Good job. Yeah, we're still down here. We're still giving it a go. There's been quite a few fish, quite a, quite a few missed bites as well. Um, I think Gar's getting a lot of eel action where his baits are coming in absolutely battered because it's a classic sign of um, eels. Eels! 
But uh, yeah, we've had a, a mixed bag. We're doing well for the front cover of the angling times. <laughs> we've had bass, hound, spotted, eel, small eye, and not one doggy in sight. So yes, lovely day. Uh, winds dropped off. Lovely, there was like a five to 10 mile an hour breeze in your face when we first got here. But since the tide has turned, it's complete. It's like shitty glass out there. Bloody lovely. So yes, so I'm gonna give it another hour, hour and 20 minutes, because you all know, school days, I gotta um, pick Kian up from school at three o'clock, so I'll be off here by just after two. So it is, school is literally as the crow flies, two miles from where I am. So it's quite close. But I was going to go to the spit today, and uh, there's a couple of anglers on there. Um, but Gar men mentioned Sully Island this morning, so I was like, why not give it a go? We'll get extra, extra time fishing on you, and it's paid off. Oh, Gar, you got a hell of a bite, hell of a bite. Wait. That one, that one. See a line spinning there. See yeah. that? Could be a little ray. No. Staying deep. It's doggy or weed. That's staying down deep, that is. Or is it your 20 ounce lead holding it down? <laughs> Lots of weed. Weed. Weed and nothing. Weed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's coming towards that time, guys. It's gone very, very quiet since it started flooding. We are, let me check my phone. We are over an hour into the flood. It has gone dead, so it's two o'clock. I'm gonna give these rods 10 minutes because the time I pack up, get back to the car, it's gonna be gone half two. I've got to pick Kian up at three, so. Yeah, so the last hour has gone dead. Uh, guys had one bite. Uh, and they gone there? No. no. Yeah, literally, the ebb, as soon as we got here, we had fish from the off. Um, yeah, it's just a shame we thought that a nice blonde would come through on the ebb, but it hasn't. There's two guys up on the monkey pole area. They've had something small, looked like a doggy or a tote pup. And I haven't seen any movement on the spit, really. you got weight on there, haven't you? Oh, is it? oh, hang on, you're dragging your other rod, both your other rods in. I'll be back guys, two seconds. Yeah, sorry about that guys. There's been a, quite a lot of weed coming through and it's pushing the lines together. So we just had to make sure that uh, they were gonna get too tangled. But uh, it's coming to the end of the session now. I'm about to pack up because I got the school run. But it's been pretty much dead on the flood. Like one bite, one bite that's all that's happened. But uh, I tell you what, it's been nice to have a, a session with Gareth again. You now with the issues like with social media and stuff like that, me and Gareth have fished together for a long time and we crossed paths early this year on the tope and it was nice to be, you know, in, in the presence again and it made me realise how much of a, my my language, a dick you can be at times. And um, nice to kind of sort things out, have a chat and get out and have a fish together because you forget how much you have a laugh and have a good time when you fish with someone that you fish with for a while. I know he's busy with his guiding and everything, but, Life goes on and life's too short. Um, but yeah, it's nice to get out and have a fish with him today. So, but I'm gonna pack up shortly now. Uh, Gar's gonna stay for another hour or two. Uh, I got school run, as you know. So fingers crossed we can get out and do another one soon. So now I go. <laughs> so yeah, so hope you enjoy the video. And uh, until the next time. Bye guys.